With speech threshold testing, there's a similar logic to pure tone testing. If a patient's threshold for speech can be obtained, then they can be compared to the norms and you can determine a patient's degree of hearing loss for speech. There are two types of testing that we do for threshold testing. The key word here is threshold. So speech detection threshold and speech recognition threshold. Speech detection threshold is the lowest level in decibels in which a person can barely detect the presence of speech and identify it as speech. It's sometimes also called as the speech awareness threshold or the music awareness threshold. So detection, awareness, and threshold all go together. It doesn't imply that speech is understood, just that its presence has been detected. So it's easier to detect that there's sound around than to recognize it. When testing sentences are preferably, sentences are used, um, they're better than isolated words. So there's cold reading speech and sentences should be presented rapidly and monotonously. So you want to make sure that like you don't have peaks in your voice. So I could go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then slowly raise the volume of my voice. And as soon as the subject hears that there's speech going on, they would signal to me that they heard it, that they detected speech. Now, I wouldn't ask them to tell me what I had repeat, what words I had used, but they just have to signal to me that they've detected the speech. The speech recognition threshold is a stronger test than the speech detection threshold or the speech awareness threshold. With the speech recognition threshold, the patient has to hear the word, recognize the word, and repeat it back to me. So it's the lowest hearing level at which speech can barely be understood 50% of the time. So if you're reading six words at a very low level, three words need to be repeated back correctly. The level at which half the words are repeated back correctly is the speech recognition threshold, the SRT. Spondaic words are used to test the speech recognition threshold. Spondaic words include two syllable words with equal stress on either word. Ice cream, hot dog, railroad, baseball. And again, you want to um, read them rather monotonously. So you familiarize the patient with the word list from the beginning of the test. You make sure that the vocabulary is familiar. Remember, we are not testing vocabulary. So once you are sure that the patient understands all the words, you can start your test and you start it with say the word. So you give them a bit of a prompt that the stimulus word is coming. So say the word baseball, then the patient says baseball. Say the word railroad, the patient says railroad. You start at a level of 30 decibels. So this is similar to pure tone audiometry threshold testing. Remember, threshold is the lowest level that a person can hear. So with the speech recognition threshold, the lowest level that a person can recognize speech and repeat it back to you. So if a correct response is obtained, you go down by 10 decibels and you present another word. If the response is not correctly obtained, then you move up to 50 decibels and you begin again. And you're going to do this threshold search, down 10, up 5. So down 10 decibels for each correct response, up 5 decibels for each incorrect response. And you do it till they get the 50% mark. And that is a person's speech recognition threshold. You can record both the SRT and the SDT on a person's audiogram. Note that the speech recognition threshold will be a higher number than the speech detection threshold because it's harder to recognize a word than it is to detect a word. For example, I might be able to detect speech at 5 decibels but not recognize the word until it's at 10 decibels. So at five decibels, I can hear that there's words in my environment, but it's not till the level is 10 decibels that I can actually recognize that word and repeat it back to a person. Now, there's this cross-check principle. Remember the pure tone average from the last chapter? The pure tone average are the thresholds in pure tones obtained at 500, 1,000, 2,000 hertz. Added together and averaged. Those are your speech frequencies. Well, everything should fall in place with your SRT, meaning your speech frequencies, your pure tone average threshold should correspond to your speech recognition threshold. They should be within five decibels of each other. That's how you know that you're doing things correctly. In some cases, 
if there's like a very precipitously sloping pure tone at, um, audiogram, they might not correspond. In some cases, the SRT might be higher than the pure tone average, more than that five decibel leeway. That could be in the case of uh, disorders of the central auditory system. Again, masking is used with speech testing just as it was used with pure tone testing. Masking is putting a white noise, a shh, in one ear to distract it so that it doesn't help the other ear when you're testing the other ear. 